Hello. Come on into my studio. It's good to see you today. Most people don't know that this studio is even here, but take a look around and uh, it's good to have you here. I want to talk to you today about Jesus inviting the disciples to come to breakfast. He had fish and, and fire, uh, fish and bread on the fire, uh, and Peter and the disciples had spent a whole night fishing, and they had caught nothing, and then Jesus had appeared and told them to cast the net on the other side, and they caught this great uh, draft of fishes, uh, and then they came and they ate breakfast with Jesus. Uh, then Jesus looks at Peter and he says, Peter, do you love me more than these? That was like a knife thrust to the heart because Peter had said, Lord, I'll die for you. Uh, though everyone forsakes you, I won't. And yet three times he had said, I tell you, I don't know him. I, I don't know him. Could Peter ever be forgiven for his denial of Jesus? Can you and I be forgiven for some of the mistakes that we've made, for some of the sins that we've committed? Is there hope for us? I like to paint, and I'm not a good artist, but I'm an artist, and I enjoy doing it. One of the things that I've discovered about being an artist is you can start over again. This picture that uh, I'm going to show you right here, this picture has been started over so many times. I can't tell you how many times I painted that under. I would get something on there, I didn't like it, I made a mistake, something wasn't right, and I would just take the brush and I would paint it all under, and I would start over. Now, I could have thrown the canvas away, I've got more canvases, but I didn't want to throw it away. I wanted to use it. I didn't want to throw it away, and God doesn't want to throw you away. When you make a mistake, he says, let me start over again, and he takes the blood of Jesus and he washes away our sin, and then he starts over with us. Now. Are there scars from the old painting? Yes. If you look closely, you can see there are bumps in the sky that shouldn't be there, but at a distance they don't show. And there are bumps here because this was painted over several times. But eventually, I came up with a painting that will make a Bible card. I use Bible cards when I go out uh, visiting because I want to share the scriptures. And so I take a painting on one side and on the other side, I put the scriptures on. And then when I leave, I leave it with them. So I'm always looking for new pictures, new paintings, new photographs in which I can use them. This other painting is one I've just started. I began to work on it. I don't know where it's going to go yet, any more than I know where God's going to take my life or where he's going to take your life. But yesterday I put a whole lot of paint in here and I had bushes in here and I got it done and I just didn't like it. So I took my palette knife and I scraped it off, just scraped it off right until all the bumps were gone out of it. Have you ever felt like God took his scalpel knife to you and just took off that painting that was there and it hurt, but you knew it was for your good? Now, I don't know what this painting is going to become. I have no idea. Uh, I'll be working at it, and one of these days I may show it to you. But let me just say in closing today, God has a wonderful way of washing away our mistakes and our sins and saying, let me do it over again. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, as you are painting the picture of our life, Lord, help us to realize that when we've done something wrong, when we've made a mistake, when we've sinned, that if we confess that sin, you'll forgive us and you'll cleanse us and you'll start the painting over again. We thank you in Christ's name. Amen.